Congratulations, you've reached the end of this course. This is video number 10. And in this video, we're gonna talk about ads. So now you can take your creatives, your images, your text, your headlines, your sales copy essentially for your ad, and we can set that up within the ad level. So to give you more practical information, let's dive in and jump over to Facebook. Okay, so this is the ad, and what you wanna do first is up at the top, you're gonna to want to choose the Facebook fan page that you're going to advertise from. Next, right here, you're gonna select the Instagram profile if you have one. If you don't and you're not advertising to Instagram, don't worry about it. The next thing is format, which is different types of ways that Facebook will show your ad. So. You can show your ad via multiple images in a carousel format. You can show one image like most of you are used to or a video or a group of items that opens into a full screen mobile experience. And most of you are gonna use this one or this one. So this one is a single image or a video. So all you have to do is select that and scroll down. So you have the opportunity to choose an image or a video. Now, like I said, if you did choose the dynamic creative, then it will give you the opportunity to add multiple ads or multiple images or multiple videos. So you can select, you can upload the image that you have access to, or you can select free stock images. Now at this point, you could select your account your page, your Instagram, and what it'll do is it'll pull the images from those assets. So we typed in scuba, we could select one of these images. It says watermark won't appear in the final image. So that's good. So even though you see the watermark, it will not appear in the final image. We'll click continue and it'll say enter the text for your ad. You can enter the text here. So the text is essentially going to appear at the top of your image. So if we take a look at one of the ad previews here, so when you see the ad, it's gonna appear above the image, this right here. The website URL that you want to send them to is gonna be here. And the headline is gonna be right here. So you can, if you enter the website URL, display the URL here. And then you have the headline, you have the call to action, which appears to the further right. Let's see if we can move that over, but it's gonna be on the right hand side. So the call to action can be learn more, apply now, book now, contact us. So it really depends on your offer. And you can go from there. And there we go. Now you can enter a display link, a newsfeed link description, but oftentimes, we leave these blank. You got URL parameters. If you're not familiar with this, don't enter anything here. Basically this allows you to track if you have a tracking system. And that's it. 